With GDPR coming into force on the 25th of May 2018, we have made some changes to the InTouch system to help you towards becoming GDPR compliant as an InTouch user. Having proof of consent from your contacts in your InTouch account will be vital if you wish to continue to communicate with those contacts. With this in mind, there are now three ways you can capture consent using InTouch. The first way is to include an opt-in link in an email to your contacts. In the email editor, type your text and click the hyperlink button. In the URL field, type the confirm opt-in tag. I'm going to make the linker button and click OK. The second way is to use a double opt-in on a web form. You can do this by clicking the tick box that says use confirmed opt-in on step one of creating a web form. This will mean that if a customer fills out your web form, they will receive an email containing a link to confirm that they completed the form and that they consent to you contacting them. The final way is to upload a document of consent. You'd use this option if you met with someone face to face and they gave you written proof of consent. You can do this by going to the contact record of the person you have gained consent from and clicking upload proof of consent. Simply choose your file as you normally would and click save. When you gain consent from a contact, they will have a grey tick next to their name in your system. This means you are legally allowed to communicate with them. If, however, a contact doesn't have a tick by their name, you could be in breach of GDPR if you contact them, and this could result in your business being fined. For more information on GDPR, an article can be found on our support site.